I just bought this wrecked sheriff SUV for the police flea auction and we're gonna fully search it and find out what was left behind. What police equipment did it come with? What department did she come from? Does she even run? What am I gonna do with her? Can we find a biscuit? When you buy restricted vehicles like these, there's no telling what we're gonna find. So hit that like button and let's find out. This is a 2017 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Looks like we have a Weston push bumper. If you look right over here, there's a Whelan Ion light in there. Should be one on this side. Yep, here it is. I'm gonna light this up here in just a bit. And right over here, an LED Unity spotlight. Oh, check this out. We have a Federal Signal ES100 siren speaker. We're gonna remove that. Seems to be some sort of sheriff vehicle. If you look closely, it actually says sheriff right there. This is the very same color scheme as the car from my last video. So it's from the same department, Calaveras County. Oh, check this out. This is an Eagle Ultra Grip police issued Goodyear tire with the center cap. That's always a plus. E85, nice. Here in a bit, we're gonna pull these out, see if we can find any hidden police lights back there somewhere. But man, look at this thing though. I wanna know what the hell happened here. This must have been a hell of an accident if it's gonna literally rip the whole wheel assembly off. All right, I'm gonna start my search from the front and work my way to the back. Let's go around. All right, let's take a quick look inside. Ooh. Yeah, you could tell this car has been sitting here for a while. <laughs> Look at this. Check out this wheel. Check it out. We have some Satina window bars. And we got the cover right there. And, yep, there's some on that side. Looks like the roof is missing and all the airbags went off. Looks like the airbags went off on the seat as well. No biscuit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This dude looks freaking evil. Oh, sh and he's local too. Can't do the time, don't do the crime. Hey, look, it's a little firecracker. Stick to the end of the video. I'm gonna test this out. <laughs> There's this sticky pad thing. And it looks like a bunch of IDs. This is somebody's EBT card. Okay, so the ultimate question is, will it even start? Let's find out. Shout out to AG1 for sponsoring this video for those living under a rock ag1 is the ultimate drink for performance and wellness every morning i look forward to drinking ag1 it's the first thing i do on an empty stomach it used to be my coffee ag1 has changed the way i think about things that i put in my body ag1 is packed with 75 vitamins minerals and whole food sourced ingredients carefully crafted to support your immune system boost energy levels and enhance your mental clarity it's actually really good. I no longer need to carry around a bunch of vitamins and probiotics. AG1 has made it very simple. One eight ounce drink and I'm set to conquer the road ahead. Head on over to the link in the description or scan the QR code on the bottom left to get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Of course, it's dead. Let's pop the hood. Oh, okay. Engine looks mostly intact. This thing is missing for some reason. Yikes, this is gonna be a problem. Battery's missing and just about all the fuses are missing as well. Before we find out if it even starts, we have to find all the fuses. I'm picking the fuses out of this part store. This is the very same one from my last video. I got the engine and transmission pulled out ready on standby. We stripped her down to her bare minimums, but we still got some more parts to go. All right, let's get those fuses. Okay, I got the necessary fuses in. There's a lot of other missing ones, but I only got the important ones to get this thing to start. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, there's still a lot of missing fuses, but here goes. Nothing. Oh, damn, that started right up. Brake fluid level service. Yes, I know, I know. 89,000 miles, nice. 
Wow, running like a champ. Even though there's missing wires and components, this is the ignition coil, so it's gotta be misfiring, but it still sounds super smooth. Hell yeah. Can I take off off this trailer? <laughs> so funny man is gonna be doing some police patrolling today. Since I ended up firing all my other security boys, we need a real man around here to do the job. All right, let's turn this off. Let's go ahead and test out that corner light. All right, got it hooked up and oh, whoa, wasn't expecting that. A white ion, that is so freaking bright. Oh yeah, it says ion white mirror, sick. We are gonna remove the other one here in just a bit. All right, let's take a look in the back. Oof. Yo, what is up with all these leaves and acorns? And look, this is a cool looking acorn. Yo, what the heck's going on here? You okay? Where? Show me your hands, get on the ground! There's nobody in there. Just my channel members. Bro, there's nobody in there. You're not hit. Bro, you're good. Relax a little bit, okay? Are you okay? Did you eat your Wheaties this morning? Did you have your coffee? Starting to see what the problem is here. We're gonna discuss this first thing in the morning. A license plate light. Oh, I almost missed this. It's camouflaging. Nice. Pelican 7600. Number 398. But does it work? Nope. So I took this thing home to charge it. It's green, red, and white. Pretty sick. Mm, I should be wearing a mask in here. What's this? Something in here. I saw another one here. Quick screen, forensic use only. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what's in here. <sighs> Negative, positive. Oh, shiznit. This is a straight up drug test. I think you fill up with this much blood. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's, uh, I think you urinate in here up to there and then uh, get the results right here. If I were to take this test, what do you guys think my results would be? I am 100% clean. Damn, that is one hell of a crash, that's for sure. Look at this hole right here. Is that a bullet hole? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Some car spaghetti. It's really hard to tell what system this is from. Let's go ahead and check the other side. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Ooh. An antenna. Super long antenna. Uh, looks like the stud part is missing though. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Ah, oh, so frustrating. <laughs> it's stuck. Uh, let me go around and try to push that up. Ow, my foot. That was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm saving everything. Nothing gets wasted here. I gotta make my money back. I paid $1,500 for that thing. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, sick. This is the cover for this part. And uh, these lights go here. See this little thing? Those go on that side. Okay, this pretty much goes like this, just like that. And then uh, these, this back part screws on right over there. Okay, let's test the lights. <laughs> Oh, that is freaking sick. I love it. Red and teal. Nice. The moment I start filming, it starts raining. It becomes a really crappy day. All right. Of course, I'm going to be removing these seats so I can fully search this car. Check it out. Some type of cross. So, this looks like a partitioner shield right there. I should put a bullet through that thing. All right. Let's open this up. Nope, it's locked. Let's get in through here and pop this open. Okay, if you guys are ever stuck back here, you could just simply pop this. Hey, get, back, get back in there. <laughs> you get back in there. <laughs> oh shit. We got some ions. Apparently we need like a drill to tap these out. Is that what that is? Yeah, they're working. Oh, I didn't even know that's what. Like, it's a shroud. Uh, so there's, there's no get any 
That makes a lot of Where's sense. Yeah. Should be another one in here somewhere. I'll buy those brackets off you too. They're riveted. You gotta take off the- Oh, we gotta punch them in. Oh, and this is a straight up Ford OEM part. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, you'll never see that through that window. Call dibs on the goodies. Any goodies? No idea what the fuck this is for. That is a plunger for the side doors. Hey look, you got a sunlight. This side yep. airbag you can sell. That's expensive. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Airbags and the seats are good. Uh-huh. They didn't blow. Okay, let's drill out these ions. Okay, let's test them to see if they even work and what color are they. Super bright. Super cool. I'm gonna remove the lights so I can get to the goodies in here. Pop this off. Fold that. Wiggle this out. That came out kind of easy. And yep, there's the light. I'm gonna light that up here in just a second. Do the same on this side. Yep, wiggle this out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I think I just blew it off before I could even hit record. It was blue, it flashed. Then it won't come back on. Uh oh, I think we got a whacker problem. <laughs> Hell yeah. Noise. I'm glad you don't have that diaper on there anymore. <laughs> the railroad whacker and Lieutenant Wilson are best friends now. Uh, I was. Yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? I can smell it. Okay, now it's time to remove this push bumper. And I'm going to remove this right here so I can get to that right there. Got a WD-40 it. This thing is very stubborn. Okay, it was multiple wires. There it is. That was actually kind of heavy. I think the whole grill is coming out. Uh, I don't know. I might have broke some tabs. I'm not sure though. Okay, so now the siren speaker is coming out. I'm just gonna remove the bracket. The bracket's back on and we're good. The push bar I removed now has a new home on this 2018 Ford Explorer. Let's look under here. Ooh, that's actually damaged from the forklift. Okay, these window bars are coming off. Okay, these are pretty light. Pretty good condition too. Now let's remove the other one. Ooh. But that one is also in great condition. So she's number 1612. What's this? Oh, what's this doing up here? All right, I'm gonna remove this little fin. This fin is actually the factory fin. I'm gonna remove every single bolt out of this whole car. You never know what you're gonna need in the future. Here we are. I'm gonna be removing the seats. Just had to power it up so I could uh, back the seat up. So look at this thing, it's running. <laughs> Ooh, is that real gold? It's a religious cross. What's this? I can't even pronounce that, but some type of medication. It expired already though. What the hell's that? What the f Oh sh Defense Technology Low Roll Distraction Device. Safari Land. To be used by law enforcement, correctional, or military personnel manufactured by Defense Technology. Basically, this is a flashbang grenade, and I cannot tell if this is used already or not. I think there's supposed to be something here that pops off, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna pull on this thing right there. Uh, let me set up the camera real quick. I'm gonna just. I'm so scared of this thing. Uh, oh shit! What the f <laughs> Dude, look at this. It blew out the window. 
Let's see what else happened in here. It messed up that thing. Damn, the force must have just made it come off. Look, it made the... <laughs> this thing came off. Oh, look at the windshield. That windshield was not like that. <laughs> I keep finding other little damages. Look at this. <laughs> oh, sh**. What the f You guys see that? Where the heck did this come from? What the hell? Dude, was it in here? Oh, it must have been up there or something. Just look at that. Even this came off? Oh, my. That was nuts. This thing popped off. Wow, all these secret compartments are being exposed. Look at the ceiling. Oh my goodness. That thing is pretty strong. I just realized that it blew this thing open because this was closed. And it blew this thing off. This little strip that was here, it's gone. That's nuts. I'm surprised this thing is still on there. That was freaking nuts. That was awesome. Here is a different angle. That was awesome, but I honestly did not think it was gonna be like that. Okay, here's the reality of what actually happened. Well, uh, guys, this thing was spent already, so I actually put that little firework in there. You know that firecracker I found earlier? Yeah, that thing packed a punch. Who would have ever thought? So what am I going to do with her? Well, first I pulled out the engine and transmission. And of course, I'm going to go back and pull out every single piece that I could out of this and try to make all my money plus profit, of course. I have an eBay store where I sell all the parts that I pull out of these cars. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, funny man, due to the incident that occurred earlier, I'm going to need you to take a urine test. No, 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 Kevin. Me to do it. No, you're gonna need to do it if you want to keep your job. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's enough. So that's enough. Three days later. What the hell are you doing? Take your hands out of your pants while I'm talking to you. I got your results. You literally failed every single test here. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> You're fired. How about you, man? You're gonna blackmail me? Whatever. Corporate wants you out by the end of the day.